Hello, welcome to today's Training Tuesday. My name's Darren, I'm based here at Warwick, one of the training officers, and today we're gonna to be looking at the wiring center on the Baxi 800 Combi 2 range. Okay, so let's remove the cover so we can access our wiring. Now, to do that, we're gonna drop the front panel down, and what you'll see now is a yellow cover. If we lift that yellow cover, it's exposing our connections. And what you'll notice now is that you've got an identification label. This is identifying your 240 volt connections and your low voltage connections. Moving on to the actual connectors, you can notice that they are removable. So we can remove that connector to wire up our live, neutral and earth. Once we've done that, we can reconnect. Moving over to the switching side for our controls, again we can remove the connector plug, easily wire in our cabling and then reconnect. But don't forget, if you, you've got all of your identification on the label on the cover. If we now move over to low voltage, Again, we've got an identification label there which explains exactly where everything goes. If we're connecting some kind of weather comp, in this case IFOS, we would connect it to the grey connector plug as identified on the label. Remember this is not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which way we put these wires in. If we now move and look at our low voltage controls circuit, so if we're gonna use open therm, we would remove our link wire and again connect our open therm connections. And again, just remember, it's, this isn't polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which way our wires go. A key point to remember is, if we're gonna connect through 240 volt, we leave our open therm link. If we're gonna connect through open therm, we leave in our 240 volt link. Now, this is all in the MIs and also you've got your identification label there, so nothing could be simpler. Thanks for watching today's Training Tuesday. Hope to see you soon.